this just came in. If you're looking for the best audio for your camera or mobile phone, then the answer might be inside this box. I've been looking for the best audio possible for filming with my smartphone, and I heard that this is the mic to get. So first, let's open it, connect it to my phone, and then let's see how good it really is. So this is what the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus looks like. Now here it is attached to my iPhone 11 Pro and it comes with what we have here, the cable. This cable comes with the microphone and you just plug it into the back here. As far as power goes, what you can do is it comes with a battery, its own battery, it's rechargeable battery that slips out. It, you know, it lasts for hours. It's really fantastic. You just slip it in there, and when you're low on battery power, you can simply recharge it right here with a micro USB cable that comes with it. Now, in order to turn it on, all you need to do is hit the power button at the top, press it down, and wait for the blue LED to turn on. Now you know that the power's on. And we have a few things here. Let's look on the left. On the left, if we press this button here, this is what you call a high pass filter. And you have essentially three settings. You have your normal setting, you have 75 where it attempts to filter out some of the uh, background noise, and then 150 which uh, is a little stronger than 75 which attempts to filter out that background noise. However, what I find a little more useful is over here and this is our gain control this affects the decibel level so at the moment if there's no light we're at a normal zero level you have the choice of increasing it 20 decibels which uh, is usually not necessary because it gets pretty loud and you can really peak unless you're far away or you can go down to a negative 10 decibel which can come in handy if you have a lot of background noise i find this to be more effective than the high pass filter and what's really interesting if we'll go back to normal here what's really interesting if you take both of your thumbs and you click both of these buttons at the same time this turns on this is essentially your safe channel and it records a second version of your audio just in case the original is distorted in some way but wait now you might have noticed i had a few other cables here so essentially we have one two three cables in order to connect it to your phone in this example my iphone 11 pro you'll need these two adapter cables that i just mentioned earlier the cable that comes with a Pro Plus, here you can see, is a TRS jack. It has two rings right here. Essentially what you need to connect to your phone is a TRRS jack, which has three rings. We can compare them side by side. You need one with three rings. This connects to your phone. In order to do that, you need this cable right here. This cable is a TRS to TRRS cable. Check the description for more information. So we'll need to connect these two here. Now we have our TRRS, but in order to get into our phone, we're gonna need one more cable, and that is this right here, a lightning to headphone jack. You'll need one of these specifically for an iPhone. However, if you have an Android, you'll want a USB-C to headphone jack. Great, now we're ready to record. But before I show you the contrast there is with and without the mic, how about a cup of coffee? Okay, let's grab a coffee. Well, thank you. So here we are in a local cafe in South Korea. And if you notice, no one's in the room. I've gotten this room specifically so we could test the microphone here while demasking because here in Korea you have to wear a mask in public at least for the time being. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like in a small room because there's a slight echo and we'll test out what it's like far about vlog distance and close up and we'll use our gain control to see if there's a difference. Okay, this is what it sounds like from a vlog distance. This is without any gain control, we're at level 0.0. .0. Now, if I go back, 
you shouldn't be able to hear me that well, but it should be somewhat clear. As I get closer and closer, the audio should be a bit clearer. Now this is again vlogging distance at a normal level. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like at plus 20 decibels. Is that too loud? I'm speaking at the same level I was earlier. It probably doesn't sound so great. But as I go further back, it might be a little clearer. However, if we get a little closer than vlogging distance, it's gonna sound horrible. Let's skip that. Now this is negative 10. This should be able to drown out some of that echo and some of the background noise. It's not going to sound very good if I go further back, but if I get up closer, you should be able to hear me quite clearly. So that's what it sounds like inside with these four walls around us. Let's go ahead and test it outside. So here we are, we just stepped outside of the coffee shop and we're at the local park. There's a little bit of a breeze, so the wind might be brushing across the microphone, but the audio still sounds good. We're at the normal level gain control. This is what it sounds like. Again, let's do that test one more time. Vlogging distance, or about here, vlogging distance. A little further back with my coffee. And up close. Now, let's try that with vlogging distance with plus 20. As we go back, you can hear it change from this distance over here, several feet away. And you can hear me as I approach the microphone. And now we're at negative 10 decibels. And you can hear me as I approach the microphone even closer, closer. Okay, so here we are back in the studio and you might notice a difference in sound quality. That's because at the moment I'm recording audio now on my iPhone and I've turned around my screen so you could see the audio bar here as well. What I want you to see is the difference in sound quality when I plug in the Rode microphone to the iPhone. Are you ready to listen to that? Here we go. I'm going to plug it in and listen to the difference in audio in three, two, one, plugging in. I definitely think that this microphone is worth the price. It's a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. So all in all, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, it's a great buy. What do you guys think? How about leaving a comment below? Bye-bye.